Hi, my name is Barbara Champagne. Hi, I'm Paul Shell. And this is our pollinator garden. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's educational as well as beneficial to butterflies and native bees and honeybees. So we've been having a lot of fun with it for the last year and it's just going to keep getting better and better. This pollinator garden is it's educational. We want to show people what they can do to help bees and butterflies in their area. It's also, uh, we're trying to benefit uh, our native butterflies and our native bees as well as honeybees in the process. We still have a few things to go and so it's going to grow and evolve just like all gardens. So we'll just keep plugging away and, and we're having a great time with it. The Pulaski Conservation District um, also provided a grant for signage, uh, labeling of the individual plants, as well as for some of the plants themselves. This is going to help build our garden and help bring more perennial plants into a native Arkansas pollinator garden. Hi, I'm Amy Michael. I'm the state survey coordinator for the Arkansas State Plant Board, uh, surveying for invasive pests and pathogens throughout the state. Planting native plants in your garden is one of the best things that you can do as a homeowner to help uh, bolster populations of native pollinators and make sure you give both those uh, pollinating insects, birds, and things like that a better chance at surviving and propagating these native plants uh, while helping to prevent the spread of invasive species. Uh, my name is Zach Wellman. I'm an apiary section manager uh, for the Arkansas State Plant Board. And uh, when you talk about pollinator gardens, they provide a variety of benefits. Uh, one is that it creates a habitat that supplies food in the form of pollen and nectar. And what happens is when these animals seek out this food supply, they either directly or indirectly pollinate these plants and thus giving us our flowers, fruits, and vegetables. Um, you know, another benefit it, this pollinator garden has, it also provides a place for them to nest and stay and stick around. I mean, it, it just helps the environment, helps everything bloom and reproduce. And, you know, so without this pollination, you know, most plants cannot produce their own seeds and fruits. And, uh, and without that, you know, that, that contributes to other animals within the environment as well. They eat the seeds and, and the fruits from the plants. It's a great place to come out and relax. Um, we had a bench donated to us in memory of one of our plant board members. Noel Lawhorn. So it's a fantastic place just to come out and sit and watch the world go by and watch butterflies. And the public can come hang out too. There's no fences or anything. It's right here on the north, north side of the Agriculture Department building. Come by and check it out for yourself.